Oh, behind us, we've got our two players, two salt-inducing phase fours, uh, ready to go. Uh, I think you lost to both of them, didn't you? Yeah, that's right. I didn't lose to anything but phase four. Oh, boy. I am so sorry for that. Okay, so both of them are sitting there. The ambient smiling. He's always smiling. Okay, he, he yes, we it. are good to go. It. So we got phase four versus phase four. So on the left, uh, we've got to change those names. Oh yes, Let's we have do. A so fix that one up. So on the on the left is, uh, I believe that's Hitty on the left. Oops. Um, well, yep. left left is Scream, but left player is Ambien. Oh my gosh, this is so annoying. To <laughs> and and then Hidlivius is our player on the right. So. Hippie's been playing DOA for a while, and his traditional character is Hitomi. And it's a fair call to pick up a speed character as an alternate in this game, for sure. Um, so Hippie's done so with Phase 4, and it's working well. Um, I think uh, Ambient, who's come across from anime games, as, as you have, as a few people have, which is great, um, he's um, all about... I think I think Javi said the most unga bunga character, <laughs> which is crazy. <laughs> Pretty funny. Um, so we're, we're off and running. Hibby yeah. did a good job there getting the uh, the launch and playing the will he block or will he take a hit game and <laughs> using the throw exactly at that right time. So that's that's just some good DOA instincts there and with phase four power. Oh, here we that's, go. That's a uh, hold and kick. Waits on the ground. Oh, break holds out. Change position. Gets the ball flat. And I think um, so. For those unfamiliar with um, DOA, it's a obviously a 3D fighter. So your your height matters. The and it's a string-based attack system. So punch, 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 kick, 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 that sort of thing. Um, but what's new is the meter system. And so the meter allows you uh, to spend half of it for an escape. And that move, the super, the break blow. So once you've hit a good stun, you do that, spend all your bar, and get great damage and a wall hit if you've timed it right. Indeed. There's the break holds, getting Hibby out of danger, putting him in back on the attack, sidestep, using one meter. So phase four gets to use meter quite effectively because She's a, a character that is throwing out a lot of attacks, multi-hit attacks, building meter all the time. All right, nice sidestep again. Hibby gets the turn back. Okay, so, ooh, and the sidestep, and the wall hit does the damage. So we're 2-1 up. Oblivious, let's see if it, it, bam, Ambient starts with the 2P to say, all right, I want neutral, give it to me. And opens up with 30%. Nice wall. Ooh, didn't follow up. Oh, uh, doesn't get anything from that. Ghibli loves jumping over you and going behind you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and it works. I mean, uh, face force wall back turn 2P is really fast. So you can take back neutral if you miss. Bit of ooh. <laughs> Ambient was waiting for that That was one. a bit of a wake up correction. Trading blows, obviously, mirror match. They're the same speed. That's a nice mid-punch counter there. Ooh. Oh, hello, Lord the Xavier. I did not realize that you were also watching this. Ooh, that's that's a bit of a miss on the on the combo. Should have gone maybe for a standard combo ending in a low to get the bounce. Nice stun. Ooh. Probably should have read that there was a, a crouch there and not gone for the throw. It's danger time now. Oh, good to no. and Ambient takes and Am the first one. Yeah, Ambient comes back on that one. All right, so a little, a little lucky to get away with that. Uh, Hibby had the advantage there, and um, that's the danger. The the mix up for Phase Four on that teleport sequence of attacks. Um, often a, a Phase Four, especially if the opponent they they read that the opponent's going to counter. They'll, they'll rush him with the throw, and, and in this case, Hibby did it without really um, hit checking first. Ooh, both start, run start, getting uh, trade account hit. Hibby going back over. Yeah, I think nice Ambient's kind of caught over that. Onto him, like, just waiting, and then. 
They're close to the wall, so we're seeing um, a couple of their hits. They need to cancel a little earlier, or otherwise the wall hit will drop the combo. Ah. Here we go, Hibby's chance. All oh, that nice. free cancelling stuff. Yep. So it's it's an on-hit cancel for teleport. Oh, is it? So yeah, you, for instance, her up kick is um, two hits, and you have to cancel on the first hit. Okay. So, oh. So that's why you have to be just. It, it suits people who like to press buttons fast, basically. <laughs> but right. There is there is some timing involved that you have to get down. There we go. See that first hit. All right. Nice. 40%. Oh, and the the distance game is really solid there. Oh, nice. Oh, kind of holds out. Oh, Hibby hopped in a little early and spaced out there by Ambient. So, Ambient getting control of the distance a little bit better at this point in time. Wall hit. So, I'm bouncing. not used to this because I haven't played in a while. I'm used to that server bouncing you again. Yeah, yeah. You used to be able to get double bounce. You knock, knock them into it while they're still grounded. Bounce. And then do an air combo. Yeah. Gee, that was a weird interaction. It was. The special wake up sort of bounced backwards. <laughs> Ooh, gets the yeah, running so throw. Like, like, um, like Lee Fang, who she's a clone of, Phase 4 has the rushing throw. Nice raw power blow. Ooh, no meter on either side. Yes, Hibby but it was, a good, it was a good use in the sense that Hibby's now a round up. So yeah. in the meter race, Hibby's got a round up his sleeve. Oop. Oh, that could have been big. Ooh. Okay, so Hibby's going to move away from the wall now behind <laughs> him. Nicely good done. Launch. And so, yeah, that wall hit, stopping the combo. Oh, oh doesn't get... It was a bit more stuff than expected. And that is one all. Wow, it's wild, wild swings during that match. A, a couple of um, counters, and Phase 4 can actually pull so much damage out of that, actually, because it sets her up for one of her long string combos. Yes. Oh, we're not even on the latest patch. Oops. That's not good. <laughs> Nice. So there was a bit of a risky stun into stun into juggle because it could have been countered along the way there, but it's pretty hard to take that risk when you're facing a, an attack from phase four. Yeah, nice oh. hop over the low kick. Nice hold out. Oh, they both look like they're both doing the same thing. But yeah, uh, I think um, that was uh, Hibi choosing high versus mid. So all right. So highs should. Beat mids if this is the same frames. Okay, I, I didn't know that that was actually an interaction. It's the way it's supposed to work. There's a missed opportunity for a, a throw punish there. Ooh, Ooh, yep. So the low low hold gets away from the low, sorry, the high attack. High crushes it. Oh, nice throw. Yep, pretty well read. Back to neutral and the opponent's blocking. Ooh, okay. So that could have been punished. It's interesting that that's 4P, so the the outreaching, jabbing mid. Oh, nice interrupt! Ambient blows all his meter and then... Yeah, right, so the low um, broke that, it looks like. Because the power blows will sabaki through mids and highs, but lows will break them. And that rushing attack sequence where she spins starts with a low, it's bizarre. It's hard to watch out for that one. All right, so they're playing the distance game again <laughs> and skipping around one another. Phase 4's crazy 9pp. Leaping attack. Ooh. Ooh. Wall splat into good damage. Nice. Wins the situation. Nicely, Nicely done. done. Yep. Okay, so 2-1 up for Hibby. We're in um, the final stretch here, so it's a 3 out of 5. <laughs> Okay, interesting. Well done there by Ambient. So the control the situation after being leapt over. Oh, oh nice. The throw extended the range. Ah, oh, down you big. go. Oh. All right, what do we got at wake up? Leaping over the low wake up attack. No punish on that. Low punch to high punch sequence is unsafe. Nice. Here we go. Nice combo on the wall. Well selected. Okay, interesting. Okay. So the power blow on block. Oh. oh! 
raw power blows all around, but Hibby was hopping over at the time. Got to be careful with that. Oh, uh, isn't it 2-1. Yeah, it's yo, three. Yo, 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 it's, it's first to three. Three out of five. Three out of five. Three. That's not. Oh, they're not doing it? Okay. Oh, they're semi-finals. They're semi-finals. Semi okay. You're good, you're Apologies. good. Apologies. We, th we thought that was loser's final. Commentator's curse. All right, what do we got next? Uh, it's me versus Javi. All right. Yo, Abby. Alright, Runus is coming up. Drayden's coming up to commentate. Oh. Alright. Hello, really thanks. Uh, hey Drayden's, how are you doing? Good, good, thank you. A really exciting tournament and great game for the uh, loser semi-finals. We have changed the game to Dead or Alive 6 on our software, but I guess it hasn't saved through. That's a bit weird. Oh, I still uh, confused. If I change it and then change it again, will that work? Maybe. Yeah, it's a bit of a oh, Dead or Alive 6. There we go. Twitch glitch. It says so on our end. Hopefully that's okay now, guys. Yeah, it was a really exciting game. A lot of mirror moves. And yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I can I can handle the mirror match between those two. It's <laughs> like you, it's there, there's no advantage. But yeah, it's it's a real struggle against Phase Four and um, Hibby in this case. Um, I think I would say showing a bit more traditional DOA knowledge. Um, ambient though showed some really good signs. I think um, his spacing game was really good. His ability to come in. I tried. I tried it on my skin. It was uh, something. Yeah, and then, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, but also his reaction. Uh, is some um, bad habits that people uh, has or develop. Uh, it doesn't really have many. Yeah. He's not countering as much when you're expecting him to counter. It's. Uh, yeah. I, I yeah. play Hibi too, like at Pax yes. in the finals last, yes. year, last year, and then again same Tommy match, and then uh, she has still an uh, exceptional uh, sense of the game. Yes, yeah, definitely. I, I think I was saying during it, there's a couple of small situations where um, there could have been like some throw punishes, but I think as a habit they're used to attacking relentlessly. Um, so it'll be interesting to see. Um, how Hibi goes against either Javi or Runus. Javi in particular, his throw Sword punish defense. game is really good. His spacing and punishing with punishing game is really good. So this will be an interesting matchup. Javi as Kokoro, and uh, we'll change those names. Javi on the player, right of screen. So we've got Runus. Runus player one, Javi player two. We'll fix that up in a second, guys, as we kick off. Oh, actually, he's uh, yeah, top one. Oh, so this is winner finals. Winner finals, uh, first yep. of three. All right, that's better. So, good use of the um, tracking move there by Javi, just to stop any shenanigans, any sidesteps, and set him up for the, the round win there. Like, Runes is really good at uh, grabbing when he's supposed to grab, countering yes. when he's supposed to counter. It's uh, unbelievable how easy he gets it with those. So, Runes started off well, but Javi's pulled it back. It's about even now, now at neutral. Both fairly quick. Nice job there oh, by Javi. Ooh. Great, great, oh. I think that was a mistake. Javi should have finished off the, the, the traditional yeah, the, throw. Yeah, I miss, I miss the... But, it, but he's good enough to... Close that out. Oh, Runes Runes looking to open that. things up again. There's yeah, that throw. That's a, that's a typical combo he does all the time, and then he just runs around you on counter. That's a, that has a lot of damage. Oh, that's a great counter. Nice hop over the low. Oh, and again. So he's, he's got the wake up sequence sort of dialed in there. Good mid, read. Mid, mid counter. Doing it again, just bit oh. by bit. Runus takes one back. With, with his unconventional nickel play. Yeah. <laughs> oh, whiff. No, not, no punish on the whiff throw. Oh, great critical stun there. Nice launch. Oh, he's 
Don't, not done much with it. I, so there was just a jab there, which was, was a bit of a risk if he was baiting a throw and then nothing much happened. Yeah, it was so, a, yeah. And uh, fortunately, Javi for him a bit of <laughs> Javi still got a chance here. There's the stun. Nicely done with the low throw. Watch oh, for it, but Runus not having any of it. Yes, coming back with the attack. All right, we're two and two. It will be Ooh. a really intense final so far. That was interesting. So in the middle of the string, I think Javi was doing it a little bit more slowly. Runus did um, up kick, which high beats mid. So he broke out of it. It's Ooh. because uh, Nico is super fast. You know, it will not be enough. Mm, just one little sliver of life left. How careful will Runus be? Will he just go uh, for it? Nice. Low kick, low kick, 3-2. Uh, A good fast low from standing, so that's one of the advantages for, for Kokoro. Let's move it to one up for Javi. He's got two more to go. Pretty intense first match. Let's see if... Uh... Lord Xavier, nice to see you watching. Javi is nice, indeed. He's doing very well. Yeah, so you said that he's uh, coming from the anime community? Yeah, that's right. Um, so, um, Blaze Blue, Guilty Gear, all those sorts of games. We've seen quite a lot of that. So there's actually a, an anime fighters discord in Australia with a really active DOA channel. And we've got, of course, a, other DOA channels dedicated. And yeah, it's really nice to see a lot of the anime players picking it up. Ooh, would have liked to have seen a 7K launch there. Different read from Javi. Now cornered. Back into the wall, nicely done. Couldn't quite see what Runus was trying to do there. The 3K from Kokoro finished him. Nothing there. And oh, interesting, great. he waited, at, that's semi-safe, that string, and he didn't land it. Let's try again, Runus. Got the stun, launch, much better. Okay. Just needs one more hit to get in there. Oh, and the throw, not enough. Probably should have gone for the combo towards the wall. And Javi punishes him. Good ending. All right, so one nil on rounds. Good recover there, though, for Runitz. He didn't let uh, the difference in L bar get to him. Nice counter there by Javi, reading the string. And again, Runus just taking a little bit too much leeway with the string to try and force Javi into a situation where he's blocking. He could have done a throw punish. There it is. Set it up. Into the citizen's assist. Yeah. Good One sliver. Here. No, no, that was the end. Okay, I thought he had a little left. Okay, that was a little higher launch than expected, I think. Spacing game with Kokoro can be tricky. She yep. doesn't really have much stuff to move uh, back and forth, so... Right. She needs to wait. She does have some good long-range moves. But, uh, yeah, I think Javi is going to be relying on playing safe, and that, like, that, that is a safe move into a high crush. Very smart sequence to roll with. Okay, now in stun. Oh, Runus, can you get to the wall? Uh, yeah, uh, not no. quite, not quite. So, now full meter for Javi, so... <laughs> yeah, but it was dangerous. Two, two one up with Runus. So probably, in the end, a good use of meter to get that damage, but maybe better to have just gone for a launch. Here we go, Javi gets the... Danger zone. This danger zone is pretty painful overall. Yeah, yeah, so half-life gone, and he gets the next one. Oh, and he continued the combo, that's not easy to Very nice. To get. And again, so that's a mid-punch, high-punch, mid-punch. So, oh, Runus hasn't managed to sort of counter that yet. A whiff on um, close blow, close hit. And just staying solid on that sequence. 6p string. Nice. So evading throws and highs there. Oh, straight up a break. Smack. Ouch. Into the wall. Oh, Javi waited a little too long there. Yeah. I mean... Oh, fireworks. I think he was waiting for a, a hold attempt. Runus oh, with the advantage now. He's really pressuring him a lot. 
Ru Runus uh, might be ruining ruining the day that he, that he missed that uh, bound he could have got near the wall. Oh, oh just close. break, break blow through it. If he went in doubt, <laughs> went in doubt, just, just go for in it. Case. <laughs> All right, so... A little so. bit of a kill, but... Close the game, 1-1. So Runus gets one as well. Yeah. First to two, first to two. It's for really an intense game. They like already, already play ten, uh, 10 games <laughs> to get here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think we yep. might have an error in the score there. Is it Javi 2? No, no. The, uh, no? One. no, we got it right. Okay, cool. 1-1. Yeah, yeah. One, one, they, they, they played every every possible round. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> it, 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 was it felt really long, but just... A re yeah, full match. Oh, what happened, Runus? Yeah. He got the bound that I was looking for in that last round and uh, he managed to come back in. He probably was expecting a counter there, he was waiting to grab. Yeah, I, I think he, but he got the bound which the, the opponent can do nothing ah, on that, okay. so yeah, it's just, so maybe he, he tapped guard by accident while he was inputting or something. There it is again, Javi just waiting that one out on purpose, I think. Waiting for the hold ah, so he could throw. Great Gets away. caught in it instead. Oh, there's the hop. And again. Let's go for three. No. <laughs> okay. So that's nice. a that's a pretty good tactic he's used well, mid to low, oh, and throw. GG. Will this do it? Yes. We'll Not do. quite. Not oh, quite. No. The the wall hits only ten points of damage. Oh, oh there we go. I thought he would have got it. <laughs> that low poke set him up pretty nicely there. Makes the opponent think, "Geez, do I need to block low again?" There we go, much better. It only seems that he adjusted to Kokoro. That is an unconventional character. You don't see her yeah. that much around. I think we're seeing Runus vary things up quite a bit, and Javi still just playing solid. Again, that's bread and butter. There we go. So just just as we say that, <laughs> Javi brings one back. Runus still in advantage. Guard break. Javi watching for it again, nicely done. Oh, great land turn. Didn't use the... the with, with walls everywhere, it's pretty It's pretty solid to just go for the for the wall hit. Good damage. Oh, there we go. Oh, horrible. nicely read. Oh, and there's what Javi's been looking for, the throw punish. And, oh, this is looking oh, bad. Oh, GG. Only still one. So, the big damage in, in the last two exchanges was a, a hold punish with a throw in each instance. So Javi two, two, two runes, one Javi. missed out there. And two wonder runes. Yeah, Similar stage, a bit more room to move, but electrified floors this time. We'll yeah. see if they adjust their combos accordingly. Oh, nicely done. Oh, this is, was a great bait. The, oh, Rune, Rune is dropping that one again. I don't know why. Something happening there. Oh, well, low, low hold saving Runus for a second, but Javi is watching. Oh, great. Again, a low hit. So Runus is just making a bit more of every situation. He's, he's attacking a bit more relentlessly, putting more on the screen. Yeah, it seems that uh, Javi is having a little bit of trouble defending from the mix-ups. Yeah. There is again. Uh, I didn't turn into time. the wall. Wins neutral again. Nice. Uh, Goes for the pop. It will be game. And just finish it off. No, one oh, cool. one little bit left. Oh, oh and the oh, he the old it. hop, the old <laughs> hop over the uh, the low wake up kick. So Ru Runus has read that pretty well a number of times now. So Javi might have to vary that. Get up without a wake up kick or use mids. Looks green, but for Zerka, like there is so much damage now that already. Oh, nice, nice job there with Javi jabbing out of the um, the mid punch sequence. What was he going to do there? Nicely done. So he stopped partway through, went for the throw, but still down on life. Good duck. And, and then closes. Pushing, Three, pushing one. on the lows. 3 1 Runes. Good job by Runes. We have our fir first uh, final. Yes, so Runes moves through to grand final. 
and let's see who we got uh, left. Hibby, no, Hibby's got hopping up to Hibby. play Jarvi. Hibby Jarvi. So Jarvi has played Ambient earlier and, and won against yeah, yeah, Phase yeah. 4. So if you look at that on paper, we've seen Jarvi beat Ambient. Hib Hiblivious just beat Ambient. So where does that leave Javi? It's going to be close, I think. But will she play... I think it'll be phase four, definitely. Or, or, he, or he Tommy. She played Tommy against me. Right, right. <laughs> maybe, it, maybe it's because you guys have experience playing against one another, and so he felt more comfortable, knew the matchup. Maybe that's why. Whereas here, I think... Phase 4's been carrying the day for Hibi. Hitomi? Hitomi and Hitomi seems to well, be. <laughs> I, think that, I think that might be it's comfort pick. Comfort pick, definitely. It's, go, it's like, okay, you're in a finals match here, go back to your main. And it's a fair call. And, so. and, and also, it's a really stressful situation when you have your new character that you're using, you carry there till the finals, you struggle the last match. Yeah. And then it's like, do I go with it again or I go back to Origins? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I was experiencing the same thing today. I, mixing between Christy and Lee Fang, Lee, uh, traditionally playing Lee Fang. Um, and it probably was to the detriment overall, but I think it's important to build your matchup experience with yeah. with a, a range of characters. So Hibby's done very well. Um, I, I think Phase Four was was the strong pick in the in the matches that he used Phase Four. I think I think pa perhaps it's the right choice here, but we'll see how Javi handles the Tony. All right, so putting moves out from a distance. Straight Ooh. pressure and a lot nice. of damage already done. Oh, good read. That was a good read. I th Ooh. Into the lows, so that was a good Ouch. choice. Ouch, another counter. So I think there's, a, yeah, so Javi picked up on it. Not quick enough there, but there was a bit of a habit to hold as soon as there's a stoppage. So Javi's taken note of it, it looks like. Ooh, what are we going to, oh, not ideal, not ideal, but he's back in there. Ouch. Throw punishing on the holds. A little bit of panning. Yeah, the so so this, the strategy there was his stun throw. All right, so if, if Hibi gets the neutral advantage on strikes, he's going to be in a really good spot. There we go. That's, but in the meanwhile, Javi's doing one strong strike and then looking for the chance to throw. Ibi is really an aggressive Tommy. I'm not Ooh. used to see Tommy's that are going so ballistic. In nice. Hitting. Like, I, I'm, I'm more used to Tommy being a lot, a lot more passive and play more on the counter. Right. And uh, counter blows and waiting for you to do something, but she... Yeah, like, yeah a bit more aggressive, making things happen. She's good at mid-distance, you know, those fast strikes, that's a... 4-6-P in your face. High hit. They usually those, uh, those moves that are moving you forward of, as punches are all good, right? Instead, that one is a high. So yep. it's a little bit unconventional. Uh, I didn't manage to close the, the, the grab. Okay, that was a good choice there by Javi. It was really far away. Uh, and she just let that finish. Well, Boom, yeah. into the box. Okay, yo. 1-0, Javi. All right. Juliano and Andy Foster. Nicely done. Okay, so Javi's mixed it up really nicely there. Not a good sequence on the wall, but a judicious hold does the job. <laughs> One round up. So yeah, there it is again. Javi has put Hiblivius into a deep stun and fished for the punishing throw. But he's mixing it up a little bit more here. Uh, that's... Uh, oh, look, I would have just finished that one off. He had to go back into neutral for a minute there, whereas if he just finished the throw with double palm, I think it would have done the job. Yeah, yep. I agree with you on that one. But certainly he's putting his mark on the match now, really controlling space. Weathering, weathering the storm there on defense. Oh, now in stun. Oh, 
waiting a lot. And that, uh, that, that defense really throws you off when you try to be over aggressive. Yeah, Hibby got a good stun there, but wasn't able to, to complete it. But won, won the neutral two more times. So, one, two. I think this is, like, Javi's playstyle is really good with Kokoro because she's got so many deep stuns that she can actually initiate from distance. Here we are again. Ah, oh, Hibby's picked up on that habit. That's really good. So that's interesting. We'll see if Javi's going to be a bit shy of using that 6P sequence. Good so combo. Even, even closing strings usually is not some, something that people plays, but Hibi abuses that because nobody is usually expecting. Ooh. Oh, really close. Really, really close. I mean, that was that was semi-safe. It wasn't quiet. And, uh, it was, yeah, that, that uh, break blow abuse is strong right there. Nicely done by Javi. Javi, great advantage for the last set. Of this probably, yeah, probably needed to use a different combo. Maybe not fully aware of how close the wall was there. Nicely Ouch. done again. All right, so Javi goes two up. One more to go for Javi. He'd be definitely showing some good signs. I think um, he, he absolutely had some good sequences. He's leading with strikes. There are some situations where he's, he's playing the DOA 5 style stun game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and he just needs to launch a bit quicker, I think. And if he does, he, he's probably in a better spot. Like so, so, punish. so far, uh, did you saw other uh, other players uh, playing Kokoro? Maybe Melbourne. Um, I, I think it's just Javi right now. Yeah, I mean, um, in past iterations, we have had a couple of Kokoro players, but yeah, Javi's our Kokoro for now. Like she's a really technical character compared to many others that are flowing a little bit yeah. easier. That distance control was great. Nice little whiff punish. So he just paused on the on the punch after throwing out the low kick. Ooh, that was a high crush. Just YOLO smash it. Good use of the break hold. Ouch. There it is again. Good read. So, yeah, J Javi's made a, a lot from that sequence. And, and also before it. he always closes it and uh, it got counter every single time. Yeah. Instead, this time interrupt the stream. Yeah. So he made that adjustment and it and it's playing into the hold habit. All right. Nice neutral game. Throw punish. Okay. Nice. Good patience from Javi. Just waiting it out. I think Hibi was expecting, um, you know, slightly unsafe, but stopping a. A string. There he goes again. That's pretty good. He's starting a string and stopping it, and then coming in trying something else again. Oh, nicely read. Ooh, good combo. They are All right. Really close. That's uh, Ibi. Oh, great, great closure for Hibi. That was if a last fails, one. punch the face. <laughs> <laughs> nicely done. Oh no, would have liked to see a different combo. Maybe. Uh, a wall bounce or, or KPPP. Oh, another good counter there. Yeah, so Hibi at advantage. Probably should have committed there to continue the stun. And just not getting a launch. He he's just he's just holding on, but he's in a bit of danger. The like hold does the job this time. He's getting a great momentum. Though. Yeah. But he's stopping his own momentum a little too much. That's, I think, where he's missing out on damage. So it's two and one. Three, it's got... This is our time. Oh, sorry. Of course, of course. So really close. Really, really close. close, yeah. We're two and two. Ah, oh, Gray there it Reed is. Reed and Harvey takes so it off. It's three, one. Three, zero. Sorry. Hibi it was su such a, such a hard fight there by, by Hibi. He really yeah. was fighting his way back there. And I thought, man, he's done it. But it was... He, he fooled me. It was such a long, hard-fought round. Yeah. <laughs> but Javi... So the 3-0 the score doesn't really tell the story of that match. I, yeah. I mean, Hibi actually really showed a, a lot of good signs there. He was so close, too. All right. So Runus is going to be coming back. Javi's got to fight his way from loser's bracket. Grand final. I'm going to look for uh, Where's Runus? <laughs> he's he already is. here. He's there. Yep. So. Oh, 
All right. So this is us. Do you want to show the players? Yes, we got it. <laughs> so we know who is in the final. Player count. All right, guys. Be. So that was that was a really good match, and the guys are setting up for um, grand finals. We saw the match before. Runus actually they, they seemed to come a little bit from behind. They are about to start. Though, They're about so, to start. So. so five seconds. That's, those Here are, are. our two finals. <laughs> Rune is uh, undefeated today. <laughs> and I think so we need far. Our... There you go, there you go. We got it. So just took a moment, there we have it. Oh, well, they already started. All right, so, so sorry. A little slow on the uptake there, guys. Well, let's see if this will be a rematch. Uh, of the oh, he waited too long. He had that that stun throw situation. Yeah. Jabi playing so patient. Nicely done. Up. Nicely done. Waiting and watching every time. Avi seems that he's getting uh, better at playing uh, this Nico matchup. <laughs> it's really close. Game, uh, firework game uh, is Ooh, not easy to pull is. off. R Runus was probably feeling the, the, the hold coming and slowed it all down, but he just kept going and there it was. <laughs> nice. That escapes the, the hold attempt. And uh, Runus is great. really oh, so close. That was a great, uh, a great sequence of reads. Yes. Runus got many the right in a row. Good read there again by Javi. Just watching the mid punch sequence. Oh, the th coming in from distance with jabs stops Javi's mid punch attack. Here we go. Javi's chance to come back in this round. Uh, Pretty even now. You reckon there was a chance for a breaking blow there? On the bounce? Or? No, yeah, I don't I don't think so. Oh great. Nice read. So solid work oh. there by Javi. Goes so up how, one how nil. many how many does he need to win? He needs to do three, three needs, and three. He needs to win three and reset. And then he'll have to do it again. All right. So yeah, um, I think patience is is the watchword there for Javi. Um, just weathering everything and, uh, and and just looking for chances to punish for sure. Just find the space to deal with the aggression. Again, it's almost unnerving willingness to block and wait wait it out. Here we go. What are we going to get? Nice, nice. I really like it. That was cool. No, uh, just yeah, that was charge. good. Javi just let it drop this time. Runus auto comboing a little bit there. Waiting it out, okay. Interesting. It was it was looking for a hole to, to punish. It didn't come. Javi's just gonna not press a button. He's gonna have to press oh, something soon. That was a great grab. That was actually a quick recognition from Runus that Javi was fuzzing to duck and he low, low throw. Like he that was, lie, that was well done. That was that was weighted out nicely by Javi. Sorry, go on. No, the neutral the neutral grabs in neutral alive are really fast, like, like five frames yep. to activate. And that's incredibly fast. Nice high juggle there. Good variation to get more damage. Oh that was a great Waiting, waiting, waiting. Uh, the jump didn't work out this time. <laughs> I, I almost can't take it that just just sitting on the ground. <laughs> there it is again, waiting on stun. I think sometimes you just got to go for it and mix it up. Otherwise, the opponent's just not going to hold. So Runus in a good spot right now, but oh yes, that good throw it needs very little there, Danger and he's zone. two rounds up. Yep.
So there's one more hit available on the on the truck, I believe. Nice sequence. Interesting. I wonder what Runus was doing there. I couldn't quite see. Uh, probably forward drive. Yeah. But um, yeah, Javi did a, a high counter throw punish. Ooh, waited too long. So Runus' turn to build something here. Absolutely the right thing to do. No! Oh! oh there was a great that, that was a good reset in the end, but he's still got a little bit to oh, go and the wake up kick does it. It should have probably hit him on the ground straight away. Yeah. That was tight. Two rounds apiece in this second match. Rona is, is, is reading really well right now. What uh, Abby's doing. It's good, yeah. I mean, if Javi's going to wait it out, the throws that on block are going to be fine. Runus is get, getting the advantage of being at the first to attack. It's with Wade there. He waited this time. <laughs> so Runus one, one. brings one back. Seems like we got a super uh, interesting yeah. final in our end. So back and forth on that one. Nico nerves apparently were not enough. <laughs> No, I mean she's fine. Like she's she's still top tier. She's like a normal top tier now, sort of. <laughs> a normal under phase four. Uh, under yeah, definitely. Under, yeah, I think. Ooh, miss. This stage is good really on low hold. Does the job. So Runus did a low hold and punished the whiff. Very close, very close. Oh, just Too that. much for Javi to come back on. One low jab does the job. No, oh, he finished the throw. I would have thought he'd go for the striking sequence with all these walls. Whenever he gets uh, a counter, a counter hold, he will finish it. Closes, it closes down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I yeah. got he it uh, a billion times. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nice finish there by Javi, and that should do the job on the wall. All right. Well, I, he's, he's woken up to... Um, he's not playing as slow this time. Just get in there and do the damage. Uh, this, uh, this ring, uh, this, uh, this stage, uh, nice duck. It, it's, uh, it's really good to do that because the danger zone is really... Oh, really good reads on... Oh, the, that was the only time he didn't read it correctly with the standing throw against the low. Oh. Tekken Heart going crazy right now. <laughs> Alright, Javi does a good straightforward job with the elbow. Oh, Runes Rune tried to throw a little early. Javi was still in stun, that didn't work. Oh, that was a big And again, Javi just just holding down, coming out of stun ducking. Yeah, but, but there is uh, no luck. Runes will take the round. Um, I, th I think, again, it's. It's pushing it uphill a little bit to be on defense all the time, so he's got to make his mark if he wants to ultimately win through because the stats will be against him, I think. Nico, though, is super fast. She's yeah, so fast. yeah. She's a little bit faster, and so she's gonna, just, just going to have more chances. So Javi's going to have to make a little bit more of things. Wall hit. Oh, that was uh, a great yeah, so dodge. Nico airborne there. Missing, missing out on a on a wall hit combo. What's going to happen here is too much stun. All right, good use of that. Oh, but there was a the low one. pokes him out, and Runus goes up two one in the grand final. Get tense. I, I wouldn't like to be in Harvey shoes right now. Like the the road seems pretty steep to to get there. Both characters just focusing there. <laughs> not, not much to read on their faces. <laughs> Alright, Javi a bit more aggressive at the start of this round, looking good. And yeah, he's really got his mind on that low hold habit of Runus's. Ooh. I have to say though, I've been in this position against uh, Runes and yep. then at some point in Rumble under pressure. Right, yeah. <laughs> So, I mean, yeah, you got to say that for Javi. He certainly hasn't cracked yet. Um, he, he, he maybe still needs to adjust his style and stay on, on the offensive, which we're seeing, and into 40% damage in a good spot. 
too much distance on that one. Low hold saves Runus again from a throw. And he's on the attack. Not much there from 8pp. Good sequence there. That Kika looks like a low kick, but he's a middle one. So it's really hard to counter it if you base everything on the reaction. You yep. need to know where that is going. Ooh, that low attack just stopped Jarvis um, with punish attempt. So it's danger zone here. I think Jarvi was looking for a low there. Yeah, instead it's five, yeah. five mid punches in a row. <laughs> it's pretty frustrating. Good throw punish. Pretty frustrating when you see those coming and he's like, ah, could have done it. Rune is taking advantage of the, the fear that situation causes. Oh, that's a whiff. Yeah, so the, the bound, I'm not sure what she gets to do in that bounce, that, like, it's like a rebound situation. Yeah, she should, it should be able to break low after the second one. Yeah. I think Javi should have um, done a break low there. The, they're rocking for So Javi. he's in trouble. There's the wall. And then uh, Runes take it Two on. and one. So Runes is now on match point, Tor tournament point. point. Oh, good low throw punish. I, I like seeing that from Javi. And a little slow on the uh, the stun follow up. Javi is, is still uh, fighting with everything he has to stay in this tournament. And Runes is fighting Ooh, Watch back. the distance, there's a whiff punish. Runes, happy to get up close. That's really ballsy. Yeah, it's <laughs> not, not much life left in the... That's a long range toe poke there from Kokoro, so that levels the rounds, two and two. Good damage. And we're set up for... Ooh, he went for it. Nice reset. And, oh, why would you do that, Runes? A 2P, he could have just launched. We'll see if he regrets it. Javi on the attack. Well, Javi full meter right now. 2-2. Two, two. Oh, and launch. And Get then... the most damage you can. Okay. Yeah, that was a really good one. So, Runus is now... Ooh, Javi takes the turn back nicely. Very, very close. And, ah, and he just... he's leveled it. So, I think Runus will be ruining the day he dropped that combo. Yeah. That, that was unacceptable. <laughs> Fine, uh, no more room for errors anymore. <laughs> nice, nice uh, stun, restun sequence there, pushing Javi to feel like he has to hold. Oh, there right. we go. And now I agree with that in the middle of the round. Beautiful, and got more damage from it. Nicely done. So we're about even. Javi losing the turn there. Again, that, that low hold stopping his throw attempt. And Runus finishes it out. Good use. I absolutely support that use of <laughs> meter. The damage was right. The time was right. Yeah, this time. No, no, no errors. No cancelling. Let's go for it. Nice. That's a good long distance mid or mid distance mid. Oh, that's a great read. Yeah, that was. He was going for the low hop. Jar Jarvi doing the right thing there using mid wake up kick. Ooh, punished the low hold attempt. Good job there. All right, Javi's turn. Ah, okay, deliberate reset, and it's working. Oh, he's done it. A little risky, but it's a really effective punish. Very strong. Panic, no hit points, no much meter, and then a perfect three. There we go, Javi's got the wall. Runus, good blocking. All right, got all the way to the guard break. Sidestep brings Javi. Oh, why no combo? Just stopped there. Maybe didn't recognize the wall hit. Okay, Runus let the stun go again. Oh, he's it's back really and forth. Of and, uh, break yep, and uh, yeah, I think let him out of jail there, Runus. So yeah, two really and one. Oh, let just throw out the break blow to say, just look, I'm like not having that. that. Give me back the turn. I'll go neutral now with advantage. Well, one round at one up and throw. Yeah. So Runus is well. taking the chance now. Get the combo this time. Nice. That's what you want to see. And that's 50%. Yeah, more. Very I solid. See, it seems a little bit more. Just over. Ooh. Runus let Javi back in there. He needed to block all the way through that. And I think all. Oh, 
there is a closure. Javi got it. it. Javi got and it. And we have a reset. It's yes, Three, indeed. Two. It's a grand final reset. Reset the scores. And they're going straight into it. And then we have... Force Three takes a reel, says uh, Commander Ben. I, I wish that was true. I wish that was true. It's <laughs> sort of uh, very, very situational. Not every character can do them to any kind of effect. But pseudo Force Tech, it's there. Javi knows how to use it. All right. Runus, time to take this back. Good throw punish. Goes all the way. Charvi returns the favor. He's really doing a good job with those low um, throws, punishing counter. Yeah, I got a little bit of momentum back. Because Runus had, a, had enough in the early part of the round to sort of work through that one. He's actually really draining when you play a five game final with so many chances of losing. Really, really draining. So, not sure how to change, it's pointed out, Javi is actually from Victoria, not New South Wales. Melbourne Pride. <laughs> Nicely done there. I think uh, it's a pretty interesting like attempt to force uh, a wake-up reset. And, oh, that's that's going to rule. Oh. Runus makes it through. It, it wasn't always pretty, but he got there. <laughs> Oh, nice. Yeah, that delay worked to treat that time for Runus. Yeah, just finish it off. All right, so he, he takes advantage in this round, but Javi's almost made that damage back, and he's got all the meter. Down we go. Are you able to dodge uh, on the side, uh, the, the back hit? That, uh, of break blows? Yeah, of the Hitomi shoulder blow. I think so. Uh, that is if a, guard, a guard break, right? Like, are you able to avoid it, or is? Uh, I'm, I'm not sure which move you mean right now, but yeah, we'll uh, we'll take a look at that after. Runus just works through that last round and goes up one. We saw this last time. We'll see if he can hold on this time. <laughs> I told poking I, and poking low. For, for experience, Runus needs momentum, a lot of it. I. I really hope that he will uh, hold uh, steady this time. Another pretty, pretty close throw for this Nicely done. Runus was watching for that. Punished the hold attempt. Just nope. going really slowly. Javi not fooled this time. What a tricky, what a tricky thing to deal with. That there's there's a tracking string in the middle of it as well. So you just have to sit there and make a decision has to be uh, block through or hold. Yeah, it's, uh, that's, uh, that's a 50 50 move there. Uh, Runis is able to use it really effectively. You see how many times he's able to actually make that move go in? Yeah. And it's uh, super tricky because you don't really know how to react to it. And a lot of it's through just um, delay. Oh, oh. Runis says, get off me. Straight, uh, so 2-0 up in this second match of the grand final reset. Nicely done with Jarvis. Choosing to use the punch launcher there. Good with punish. Not enough time to actually guarantee a hit. Back to the wall you go. Struggling a little bit this That was good. That was good. So Javi managed to impose enough fear to cause uh, Runus to need to hold it at, at that point. Runus definitely able to use Nico's speed to advantage, even at neutral, just walking around because he knows Javi has to block. He's got time to do it. All right, taking the turn back again. Oh, pretty. Oh, I just. That was that was the right choice of Jarvis not to. If he had have done a break blow because of the delay that Runus was using, he would have been he, he would have been hit. And lost meter too. Uh, but Runus still on advantage. It, I mean, in the end, he just fell to the ground and um, and it went back to neutral. So Runus was able to take that one back. But it was the right choice in that situation. Runus is doing great. Oh, that's uh, that was uh, too far yeah, away. Nasty. Running and uh, grab straight away, and he's not dropping it. 
that's a hard one to read. The, he's got the variation. He could go all punches, or in this case, he did a shorter stun into a kick launch. Mid kick launch. All right, Runus laying down the smack at the moment. Oh, so close to Three finishing. The mix ups. Good wall hit. Oh, he shouldn't have finished that. Oh, got away with it. But oh, Runus finishes it off. Could have been held, but Runus just blocked through, and that's fine. As I was saying before, uh, he's draining like five games, and Harvey seems uh, to have been affected by the first series. Yeah. And it's a, it's a grueling sequence to go through. He's had to play more matches. He's come through losers. And, um, and he needs to play final twice. Yeah, that's right. Xavi went for the low, which we've seen Runus going for, but it's it's he's just peppering it in. So it's it's a really hard one to go for. Tournament point. Yeah, right. back on tournament point. This time, Runus has got a buffer. Xavi hasn't got anything on the borders yet, so he's going to have to go pretty wild to, to take it back, and he's starting off well in this round. Low poke. Oh, great hold. It was a good hold. And again. Runus starting his attack. Full he's meter for the bottom. For Ooh, bottom Javi is so close to just closing it out. I oh, agree. Yeah, Finish the throw, and but it's not enough. Anyone game at neutral, oh, and then he jump. takes it. There it is. Well done to. Runes take it, takes it. Uh, he finishes I... it off. Congratulations to Runes. Congratulations. All right. So I'll go to grab the players before they run away from the medal and the pictures. Yeah, we'll get the medal sequence. All right, guys. So there you have it. So two relatively newer players to DOA. Really good stuff, actually. I thought that was actually a, a really solid match. Both adapting to one another. Hey Runus, come on, tell us, tell us about that match. Okay, so I, I noticed Javi was catching on to my throw reset, so he's doing a lot of duck stuff. So I'm like, okay, if you wanna, if you wanna go for trying to get away from the throw resets, I'll just keep st stun resetting you. Yeah, I noticed that. There were a couple of situations for both of you because you were both kind of playing that game where it was uh, Javi started off doing really well by deep stun watch and then throw punish. And he, and he got you a number of times. But um, as I was saying through the match, you were imposing a bit more, you were putting more attacks on screen. So you, you had your percentage chance was probably a bit higher, <laughs> you feel. You know, because there's, there's only, in terms of, you know, it's a four way hold system. Yep. So you're more likely to, to land what you want to land versus, yeah. versus a hold. Anyway, I got to go for medal summary. All right, so we got medal summary. Congratulations. Really good job. All right, well, we'll let the medal sequence roll through. Thank you guys for tuning in and watching uh, the stream. Just uh, a little taste of the DY action we had today. And uh, we've got Runus in first, Javi in second, and Kiblivius at third, followed by uh, Ambient in fourth. So. Good job to all the players. Um, great to see the scene growing in terms of a small game. Local scene in Sydney seems to be going pretty well, pretty regular. So if you're in the region, do definitely come and join in. We've got a few ways you can find out about the scene. Obviously, if you're in Sydney, oshado.net is where you want to go to find out about each of the monthlies. And uh, if you're in Melbourne or Brisbane, go to catchwires.org. Dead, Dead or Alive is played at each of the monthly Rambats in Melbourne, Brisbane and Sydney. Okay, so thank you once again. We'll let the guys finish off their photos. We'll see what they look like there. We've got a better angle. All right, we're finished. And uh, if you're interested in DOA in general, check out uh, DOA Tech on Twitter and go to freesetdodge.com for a wealth of information. Thank you guys. I'm Berserk and uh, signing out.